Okay, gather round. Gather round, children. It's story time. No. So, I just want to say this on camera. I know I wasn't here last week, so you guys had the week off, and I'm still recovering from the flu. I know, it's been nine days now. I'm not contagious anymore, at least the doctor told me, but... What do they know? What do they know, exactly. I'm going to infect you all. It's my secret plan. Uh, so anyway, today's theme is invasions, and I stress it's a theme. Which means these aren't necessarily go invade or kill the invasion problems. You sort of have to figure that out as part of the problem. So all you know is that it's black to play. And uh, how do you guys think you did? Good at all. No, bad, bad. terrible. Well, this is like the hardest part of the game. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you just like one giant tip here that I probably should have given you beforehand. Oh, I know, I know. I, I <laughs> retroactively teaching is 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 always good too. Uh, it cover, covers your your butts, you know. No matter who has the biggest area of potential on the board, if it's black or white, wherever the biggest area is that's probably where the action is. That's probably where the invasion is either going to happen or needs to be defended against. And that's the type of mindset you need to play in your own games, right? It doesn't matter if it's yours or your opponent's, it's just who has the biggest potential, okay? That's often a key in a lot of these problems. Um, now on this board, there's, there's uh, some stuff going on. Can anyone just give me a quick synops uh, synopsis of uh, what's happening? You can, Jody? No. no. Who has what? I think the action's all about that white stone. Yeah, this, so. where, where's, the, where's the action, right? It's like this thing right here. This is the action, right? This is boring, this, this is big. And this is big, and this is big, and that's not small. But these are all boring. Whites and big. I have to who's gonna be big and who's gonna be huge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the action. So, what does black wanna do? What does white wanna do? I mean, it's pretty clear in this game, more than more likely than not, white just played here, right? I didn't give you the move order sequence, but it seems like that would have been the last move. Mm -hmm. Why do we think that? Because black would have answered that. Yeah, black would have probably answered that. <laughs> yeah. In fact, so that's, that's what we want to answer now. So how do we want to answer it? What are the ideas? Well, I was thinking like a cap here. A cap, all right, so we'll put this, this is an idea, good. What's another idea? Uh, protect the corner. Back the corner like this. Yep. That's another idea. Good. Any other ideas? Can you go under? Under? Like here? I don't know. Why did I get away? No. <laughs> well, it's an interesting idea. Yeah, this is this is uh White will probably make some sort of mess like this. Some sort of shape. Actually, no no, sorry. Uh wait, wait, honey, this way. Yeah, that's much better. And then if you defend it over here, yeah, no, white would just separate you. So, interesting idea, but not a good one. That was your first idea on camera, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're so glad we got to document that. Oh, for one. <laughs> second idea, technically. Oh, second idea, okay. Fair enough. One for one. Any other ideas? Okay. That's it? That's all you guys came up with? Shoulder hits. Shoulder hits? Which one? From this way? Yes. What about this way? Possible. What? That side's okay, weird. so we have that, that as an idea. It's well speaking. One up from that one. Knight's move. And knight's move. Other idea. This is also straight occur to you. All right, so one of those moves that I just placed on the board is the book move. Is the quote unquote correct answer. Best answer. Right. At least according to the book. Well, why does the um, cap not work? I didn't say it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but but the, cap, the cap isn't. The best move. Yes. So why? Why? Because white gets out. So the, well, white kind of gets the, out. Yeah, there's, there's, there's an immediate defect right here. Yeah. And the problem is not only is there a defect, if, if white gets out, white will also have the opportunity to eat this stone. Mm -hmm. And so white will protect his stone and gain points. We don't want that to happen. So now you could say, well, but, but white can't really get out, right? They can beat white in this way. But 
This is terrible. Why is this terrible? White's all over the White's place. got what he wants, yeah. Yeah, white, white, white is, you know, ha gradually becoming alive and or out, and how useful was this stone? Yeah. Yeah. So, one question, though, um, mm -hmm. with the cap. Mm -hmm. Couldn't black just sacrifice this stone to build a wall and make this even bigger? Yeah, I, th I think this is possible. Like, you want to play something like this, right? Yeah. Okay, this is possible. Um, but I'm not confident that you're going to get everything in the middle. Yeah. And in the meantime, we're losing actually a lot of points. Like this is oh, yeah, a yeah, big that's territory. hit because okay. you don't have the corner here either. Yeah. So I think I think this is this is an exchange like in your games you want to consider like exchanges like this because sometimes like that's the real power of Go, the real creative aspect of Go, is finding these trades that your opponent didn't even consider and them tricking to make a tricking them into making a really bad trade. I don't think that's a good trade here. Okay. I think I think white benefits too much, mm -hmm. and you're placing a lot of emphasis that you're going to be able to make a lot of points here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so in dealing with this stone, what does black have available as resources? Stones. Stones. Where are the stones that black can make use of? Yeah, how about these? Mm -hmm. How about these? Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's make use of those stones. We just want to use the stones you've already played. It turns out that's how you win it go. <laughs> I want to play here. So what is what are you know what do you think White's going to try here? Extend. Up one, extend. Okay, that's fine. If White extends, we actually have several options depending on our mood of the day. Um, we could actually play most of yours just here. Yeah. <clears throat> honey, this is the honey. Right. Sorry. Oh, for uh, White. I mean, yeah. Sure. But if White if White plays this, yeah. This is this is uh, doing two things for us. Number one is keeping pressure on White. And number two, it's, keep, it's keeping pressure off of our weak stones. Mm. Like, we've already fixed our weak group. We, technically, we had a weak stone on the board before this thing started. And now we don't. Now it's only white. And so, yes, white will have to find ways to live and make some sort of shape. And at this point, black can either keep up pressure or come over here and seal it in, depending mm. on what black wants. We keep up the pressure. Ah... Uh, I mean, it's kind of a gamble for white to keep running. Maybe white plays here, I and mean, you can come back and play this anyway. Yeah. There's a lot of possibilities here. Mm. Mm. Um, but basically, it's about this problem, right, is about keeping your weak stones uh, safe and strong while gaining. And white was nice enough to invade your territory, and that's why we want to push from this side. And, it's, and if white just runs, right, if white just decides, you know, hey, I'm just going to run out, right, this would be normal, we're actually going to see that these stones will become very, very useful because this is the other way it could go. And it's like, where are you going, white? Where are you going? Uh, yeah, maybe we got to go this way now? I don't know. But remember how you, wanted to, you said you wanted to build the middle? Mm. Right. I mean, this, yeah. is, this is going to do it very naturally right. as well. That's a bit of a wall, yeah. So there's a lot of ways it can go, but the mo most important thing is we want to keep our weak stone strong while we are counterattacking the invasion. Very good. Okay? Cool. Next problem? <clears throat> All right. I'm doing my own camera work today, so this is going to be kind of shoddy, to be honest. Oh, I should have you guys. There's just too many of you to do some camera work. Okay, uh, what do you guys think on this problem? Where's the action? The white stone again. Yeah, clearly there's a white stone that's an intruder. What is that white stone doing? It's invading. <laughs> it's invading. <laughs> separating. But yeah, and it's also separating. What is it separating? Black stones. Yeah, these two black stones from these stones. And I, I, I gave some of you a clue. I didn't give this clue to everyone. So I apologize if you didn't get this clue. But I did say this peep is also kind of a, an issue too, another resource that white has to make available. So some of the moves you guys were looking at may have problems when white actually gets a little creative with the, his or her response. So anyway, what did you come up with? What did, what did you want to do with that invasion, invading stone? Shoulder hit. All right, let me grab some stones. Which side? This way? Yep. So you want to push it towards our weak stones. 
Well, I figure that whatever white does, my next move is to fix up those weak stones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now connect the two weak stones. Mm -hmm. And then uh, um, I, I'm not certain what I'm up here. But it seems to me that at this point, maybe white's trying to run out. But no, no, white's out. White's not running anymore. White's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> this didn't. This doesn't look good for for black here, right? Because uh, he's still separated. Yeah, he, black's now under attack, like officially. Well, I've, I've got now the worst pit bulls before. <laughs> <laughs> That's just against me. Past results do not promise. It's only half bad. Future profits. Uh, okay, interesting. The interesting. Yeah, what about the other one? What about the other one? Yeah. Yeah, this is actually a really nice move here. <laughs> Helps the weak stones out. Some of you, now some of you found this move. This move is almost the right idea. But it still sort of has this problem that white can peep here and then run out that way, or, more violently enough, come back and attach here. Hmm? You don't want to play there as black? Oh, instead of capping? You just want to play here? I don't know what just does. That's uh, strange. Tiger's mouth or tiger's mouth. Maybe something. white just plays there. I'm not sure where white plays, actually. White just does something to prevent them linking up. Yeah. This is probably a bad exchange, though, because now your base is undercut. Mm -hmm. but. I don't know. I think it's a prospect. Can I this <laughs> one for black? So this, this one, again, is, is not a bad idea, except white now will play here. Mm -hmm. It's a little too soft. And I want to go back. So, so I said I liked this one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason why I like this one is if white plays here, Let's cap it. black is now going to play that capping move. And you're not worried about this, because if you play this now, black isn't going to connect here. Black is going to come down here. Right? So this, this shape right, is keeping in mind your own defect. Right? You're fixing your defect while attacking. You know, you really can't completely kill, you can't guarantee kill this stone, right? It's on the fourth line. You can't, you can't guarantee its death, but we can punish it, right? So what we can do is we can punish it. And white says, oh, I want to run out. You go, that's great, white. Good for you. I want you to run out too. And if white says, hey, I want to keep running out, well, now we start finding moves like this. Cool. And this is how you punish white. You attack two things at once. Yeah, now what do you want to do, White? Do you want your triangle to be in trouble, or do you want all these to be in trouble? You get the choice. If White says all those, White loves his empty triangle. Black says great. Power triangle, you have to see. Black is fine with this. Black is fine with this. Now, over here, Black can still be attacked, right? So White, you know, so White, this is a valid choice. White still might make this type of exchange. Um, but Black doesn't feel bad about it. I mean, this is basically how the board looked when he was getting invaded anyway. Okay? So, again, the idea is when you are defending against an invasion, usually your opponent is invading because they can sense a weakness and they want to take advantage of that weakness. And so when you, when you have to defend against this, you can't defend and just let your weakness be exposed. You have to defend while keeping your weakness in mind. That's the idea. I, think, I like this problem a lot. This is a very cool problem, actually, because it sort of makes that concept really clear. OK? <clears throat> All right. You guys like this one? No? Lots of possibilities. You guys like any of them? You guys like any of the problems? <laughs> hmm. Interesting question. What do you guys think for this one? 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. Yeah. Four, four. Right here? Yeah. yeah. That's a brilliant move. It is good. That is, that is the move. That is the move. <laughs> that is the move. Is this uh, an invasion? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually also a Joseki, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, we normally we think of fourth line moves as reductions, but in this case, because white has the whole area double surrounded, wing yeah, double wing, it sure can count as an invasion. And how does white respond to this? Yeah, come out of the corner. Yeah, this is most natural, 
right, is to defend this. Yeah. But then we just say, no, I'm just going to be safe, back up. If White says, I'm going to make sure you can't live over there, you say, that's fine, I'm just going to follow that way. This would be a pretty normal Joseki. There are lots of other variations, of course, but uh, the problem is, actually in this case, Black might even play here. I'm not sure which one's better. But, either, but in either case, uh, it's actually hard for White to attack this. Like, White can annoy it, but since it's in White's potential, White doesn't want to annoy it. White wants to actually attack it. White can't gain a lot by annoying it. So, yeah, that fourth four stone is pretty safe, and it's really hard for White to both hang on to the corner and prevent his sides from being destroyed. So this is also why you don't see people make this shape, right? Extension, extension, three, three. Very strange, because your opponent will just play here and just, you can't make anything big here now. It's too hard to attack, to counterattack black. Um, one of you asked about, uh, this is Micah, asked about well, what if white just takes a side? This is going to go much worse for white than just taking the corner. Because now you switch to the other Joseki. Yeah, now we go back to just sort of a, it's like white invading a black corner. Mm -hmm. And so black will get all the momentum here. And black can even play variations like this that really uh, force white to make a choice, basically. And if white plays probably the most standard variation here, uh, it's actually a great result for black. And technically white can make this exchange sort of instantane at any time, but uh, this, these three are dead. This is just dodgy. So this is a black corner, and even though white gets a strong outside over here and got to play on this side, he's still a little bit undercut over here, and the corner loss is too big. So this would, this would be sort of how white would play if white really wanted the sides. And white, would, white could essentially play that in sente. So that's how white gets the two sides, but the corner loss is too big. So there you go. Easy? All right, good. Board number four. Almost halfway through. Did you, anybody like this one? This is my favorite. Can't oh, get the camera to stand. This is your favorite? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Well, some of you uh, have seen this problem before. This was this, the this was the repeat. This was the repeated problem. Yeah. And last time I did it, I remember I did it on that table over there. I think the far board on that table. I can't. I think it was like two months ago. November-ish? December? I don't know. I don't remember, but somebody should recognize it. Maybe. Anyway, what's going on? Where's the action? Yeah, there's an intruder. Yep. What do we do to set intruder? Kick on it. Kick it. <laughs> must be punished. I think, I think, so, so here, you, someone can play the kicking stone. Well, all right. And what will white do? No, no, definitely not there. Yeah, just stand. Stand or here is probably even a little bit better. Uh, this would be okay. This is A minus kind of move. The reason why it's only A minus is even though black will still continue to attack this, you know what the next move is for black? Anyone? No. Nice move. Mm -hmm. Nice move. There you go. Yes. This is the way to continue to attack this. That's your second choice. Make it your first choice, and then you're a winner. <laughs> <clears throat> this would be the correct way to continue attacking this, and this looks pretty dire for white. Uh, it actually leaves a lot of Aji over here. And so this is the problem with the kick, is that later on, white has moves like this. Okay. And so in this case, uh, the, the move that I would play, and the book move as well, is to simply just make an iron pillar. Yeah. And this is actually very nice spacing. Right. Because even if, 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 white, if white leaps out, it's almost the exact same. And you don't actually have to expose your, that defect. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. You've seen this problem before. And it's shocking every time. <laughs> <laughs> now keeping in mind, this is still a fight because white still has a cut here. There's still yeah. things for white to do. This is not over. But... Uh, Again, you want, when you are attacking, you want to leave as few weaknesses as possible. And sometimes the kick is, is appropriate, which we may even see later. <laughs> Maybe. 
Okay. But in this case, in this case, because because this has such a nice shape with the iron pillar, that that is the shape you want to play here. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's go over there. are going to be upset at the camera work. Yeah, I got to lower this leg maybe. I don't know. Is this right? This looks right. It looks a lot like the problem on that. So it looks wrong. Okay. All right. What's going on? Where's the action? just approached. White has a stone there. Isn't that annoying stone? It is. Makes our wall. It really does make our entire wall look silly. So what do we do? How do we use it? Push the white stone into it. Yeah. So the general idea. Uh, this this is what I would I would consider playing would be something like this. Although in this case, it actually it's it's a little dangerous for black. Why is this so dangerous for black? Yeah, we're also next to something very much like a white wall. And white now has the first move. So white can either play the diagonal, the, sh the uh, knight, or the, the simple jump out. And it doesn't really feel like uh, we are taking the initiative. Should black play on the other side? Black should play on the other side? Is that what you said? Like over here? Maybe. Maybe. This makes a nice base, right? Looks like it makes nice territory. What's the problem? Where will white play? On top of this so, we can't so you gained four points. Oh, How much did white get? <laughs> 25. A lot. Yeah. No problem. Little problem. Okay. So this move's interesting. But I think white plays here in this case. So I think the answer is like... And how many points did this get you? Not very much. Not very much. How many did this get white? A lot. A lot. What about this one? <laughs> <laughs> this one. Four steps closer. How about this one? So this is the book move. I think, I think if you're a really violent person and you play this, I, th I think this is fine. Like, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think it's hard for white to immediately kill this stone. Um, but before you play this, you'd want to probably play some asking moves first. Uh, but the book answer is here. It's gentle. It's a gentle invasion. I, I, I was thinking about something like this. See, see, so this, this looks good too, um, but the problem is that white actually has a weakness here, right? That you're yeah, sort of inviting white to fix. Yeah, white to fix, yeah. Yeah, for free. But maybe, this is, I would say this is also very playable. So... It's move us all in the middle yeah. I, I think I think this is fine too, quite honestly. Well, I think it's more of, don't look at the territory, it's here, it's here. It's got a double wing on. Yeah, I, th I think the problem, the problem with this move, though, um, just from an analytical point of view, is it really doesn't need the wall to work. Right. right? We're not really using these stones. Right. Where actually I do want to put some pressure on this stone. Right. Because I have a wall here. Right, yeah. And if I don't put pressure on these stones and white just gets to fix this for free, you know, here, here, wherever. Yeah. Um, this is, it looks okay on both sides. Yeah, yeah. Even though you'll get to reduce this, right, in this variation, that's fine. That, like that's a, that's an okay result. But it's like, but if I play here, white feels the pressure too. And now white white can't just worry about making territory. White has to do something like this. And even if it just goes very very simple, we destroyed each other. And if we destroy each other, who has the biggest next thing? Black. Yeah, black still has all this that white will need to invade next. So I think I think that's. Why the the you know that is given as the correct answer, right? It's about it's about finding the point that not only reduces your opponent but also puts pressure on them. And I mean, normally, like in this case, right? You see double wing, you go, oh, I want to play there automatically, right? But you can do this even if you don't have a wall there, right? And white will still make a lot of points. You'll just get to reduce him. If white decides not to jump out, you know, and goes for the side territory, then what's the right way to punish them? Just it? Uh, in this case, oh, that's an interesting question. So in this case, if white, if white plays a slow move over here, yeah. 
I'd probably play something like this or this first. Mm. Probably this, just to just to prevent connections. See if I can see if I can get a response here or here. Uh, and then maybe this. Hmm. But I don't know. I, well, I don't know. I also want to play that one. Maybe that one's better. Yeah. <laughs> I think that one's better. I don't know for sure. But this would be reasonable because now white would be really feeling the pressure, and black. This will end with white living and black getting a huge wall here, just in the middle. Seems reasonable. Okay. Is this anybody's favorite problem? <laughs> I know I, I know some people in here had some pretty good ideas. What are the ideas? Go for the middle. Go for the middle, like Tengen? Just, yep. just yeah. perfect. <laughs> that's in base. Yeah, that's that's gotta be good. Mm -hmm. Well, where's the action? Now there's stuff going on over here. What's the stuff going on over here? This is pretty big too. Though. Yeah, but this is all, yeah, this is also action, it's right? So you have to decide where to. This this is an interesting problem just because you have to decide where to play, and then on top of it, how strong are these two black stones? Nice. I think they're strong. They're not very strong, but they're also kind of like looking. Good. They're actually pretty flexible right now. Yeah. yeah. So white can annoy them, but can't really attack them. But that is something else to take. So there's a lot to think about. Is all I'm saying on this board. Also notice this was actually a Joseki we saw from earlier, right? All right, so let's talk about this area first. What's who? Whose territory is this? White. Black. <laughs> we don't know. Nobody's. It's basically it's it's actually really undefined. Okay. Can either player make it their territory with one move? No. no. Definitely not. Can either player make it their territory with two moves? Yeah. White. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More so than black. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. You're thinking here? Yeah. Two moves in a row. Yeah. yeah. But this is this is too wide, isn't it? Yeah. It seems kind of dubious. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's too dangerous. Over. Too far. Like there's there's weakness over here. So we were right about playing down there all along. <laughs> like this is a really interesting part of the board, mm. but it's not big. Yes. Because no one can. Nobody can. It yeah, it's it's not a big area of the board. It's an interesting part of the board because it's so ambiguous. I was just wondering about the black up in the corner. If the they're bottom there. Danger there. if white, this this uh, black group here, mm -hmm. if they're in too much trouble, if white gets can put some threatening moves. On well, that. this this move is actually really terrifying. Right. Yeah. The black group. Yeah. So there there is something to be said, but but at the same time, this group can't be killed either. Okay. The black group. Yeah. This this black group can't die. Okay. So black. Doesn't think white will get too much out of it. By yeah, because because so look at the Aji, right? White can certainly take the corner, mm -hmm. but then if if white does this, white won't get to cut here, right? So white probably wants to cut here. Mm -hmm. You know, this would be very nice, right. mm -hmm. but then black will either get the side or the corner. So I mean, you can't you can't white can't get everything, right. but there is some severe things white can do. Okay, we have a nomination. So this is, you, you can see how quick, quickly this area becomes very big though, right? Yes. So this is actually the most important part of the board. Furthermore, are there any weaknesses? Is there any thinness? Yeah, right yeah. where we're yeah, there, this, 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 this group is kind of, this white group is kind of without balance, right? Mm -hmm. It needs another friend or something over here. Mm -hmm. So how do we take advantage of it? I want to play there. Yeah, this is a very nice move. It's a good cut, yeah. That's nice. Why is this nice? Because you can, you can play over here and contest the turns. Yeah, number two, number one. There's potential room to make eyes. Yeah. There'll be a little bit. This is actually very strong, so white can still mess with you quite a bit. But there's potential. There's something there as a potential. What's the other reason? There's at least two more reasons why this is good. Yeah. Worst case scenario, we have a move like this to link up. And then, what if white black gets to play a move like this? Really, really yeah, let's, so even, even, you know, if white says, ah, I'm not going to let you make a base. Which I would play there, I guess, but uh, black is still fine because white's still under attack. Yeah, that, 
weight group doesn't look happy at all. So we have three reasons, right, mm -hmm. to play this move. Number one, it links up. Mm. Number two, it has theoretically enough space to make some sort of base. Mm -hmm. And number three, and probably most importantly, it exposes White's weak group. So, anyone find this move? Yes. And then you made this question yourself. I know, because <laughs> you're like, well, clearly the answer is there. And I went, well, did you look at the whole board? <laughs> and they went, no. I went, well. <laughs> and they stood here for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, this will give time, this will give white time to fix. Oh, you're helping white fix. Because I thought maybe you could push into the center that way. Yeah, but what's this wall going to do over here? There's nothing to do with towards the center. Yeah, but, the, the, but the, the, you reduce white, but you get nothing. When you reduce somebody, you want to get something. I'm sometimes doing the socialist in that regard. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, moving on. Two left. Two boards left. Oh, real serious. Okay, I see that's good. Yeah. Oh, chair. All right, all right, cameraman. Let's see if it stays there. Okay, was this anyone's favorite problem? No. We have one taker. All right, what did, well, what did you think was the answer? What do you, what do you think? What's going on? Ah, oh, over there. Annoy White. Is that the biggest part of the board? I think it's two. I think it's two spaces up from there. Lucy wants to play here. No, no, no. I, that could work. I feel like you should play something like that. Oh. So, so here, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to comment on this move first. Yes, this annoys white. White doesn't like you. But white's just going to play here. Yeah. Was this a good exchange? I mean, it's okay. It's not. This is this is fine. If you're worried, if you're worried about this group, you can play moves like this. This is okay. But if you're not worried about this group, maybe not. Then you shouldn't be worried about that group. It's, it's this is so. This is low, 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 right? Even if white attacks this, yeah. how much is white actually gaining? No, uh, not maybe two, 10, 15 points. Like tops. Yeah. Like I can't imagine he gets 15 points from this attack actually. Uh, because, I mean, does, are, is White yeah, going to yeah, yeah. come back and fix? If not, then yeah, yeah. <laughs> it goes right back to black. So yeah, white, white can annoy this group. And black can annoy White's group a little bit, but this is not... It's not that big. Yeah. So, the big part of the board, as some of you have noticed, is sort of closer to the top. My top. Your bottom. So, what's going on here? Who's it bigger for? White. White. Bigger for white. white yeah. Okay, so what should we do about it, Black? Indeed. All right. So find me a point. Right between the white stones. All right, Black plays here. Let's say White plays here. And uh, what did Black get? That's side. Not much. Okay. Yes, we're not really sure what the stone's doing, right? White has a strong group over here. It's not like we can build a wall here and get something really big. I keep bumping into that stand. Should not put that in front of me. All right. Uh, so it's not entirely clear what we'll get. Yes. Ah, George says we can be more severe. I would say this is reasonable. But it has the danger of white just going, ah. Yeah. It might not get a response. And you're still sort of, if, if white gets strong over here, um, white will decide what to do with you later. Because white will be able to profit from this somehow. He just doesn't necessarily know how yet. What about like somewhere over here? This is, in, in concept, a really important, um, I mean, this is good in concept, right? Look, we have a moyo, white has a moyo, let's build ours while we're reducing white. Mm -hmm. The problem with this type of move uh, is that I think our moyo is still reducible. Like we still need a few more moves to make it into something. And even though it looks like we're growing ours to six line territory, white is almost perfected fifth line territory. One more move and white's is perfect. Where ours still has defects. So 
like like this is often the, this is often the vital point, right? Playing sort of at the edge of my territory versus the opponent's territory. But here, I think I think because white can make their territory much solid, much faster, mm -hmm. it doesn't quite work out the way you think it does. So, any other ideas? Shoulder. Which stone? Which way? Uh, this way, pushing that way. On this one. This is the book move. Mm -hmm. So, what do you guys think of this one? It's good. It's good. Why is it good? Because you can get in there and you can go out. <clears throat> right, the stone is safe. Keeps you out. Right, hard for white to attack this. Uh, if white tries to attack it, right, you just do this. This is fine. This is normal. We reduced white significantly at putting ourselves at no risk. In this Joseki, if this does happen this way, white actually has to be very careful now about black playing another move over here because now look at this. Yeah. Right, so we sort of reduce white for free. Um, white will be, if white doesn't play that variation, if white plays this variation, of course, we get more stuff. And so does white respond again? This doesn't feel like a very good variation for white. But this is, this is the idea, right? We have a little bit of strength. We're strong over here. That's what if you, white ignores you and dives into the corner like you talked about sure. before? Sure, but now this is much more severe, right? So we can, we can even respond to the corner first and then come back and play this or just, or just play this immediately depending on what our feelings are. But now after we play this, Whoa. Earthquake. Sort of. Okay. Um, before, when our stone was here, uh, we can't really play a severe move like this, right? White will just hane or hane and counterattack us. Here, we can't even we can't get counterattacked, and this stone looks stupid. So it's a big difference in terms of shape. So that's why white will feel compelled to respond to the shoulder hit in some way, right? And probably, you know, again, most, most normal would probably be something like this. It would just be the non-creative, bookish type variation. So, is that good? Is that good enough? In this case, because white is strong here, we didn't want to do anything crazy either. Right, because that could lead to problems for us building our own territory over here later on. Okay, good. One more. Was this anyone's favorite problem? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, where's the action? Oh, I'm going to tip the camera over. There's no action. We need to stir it up a bit. <laughs> there's no action. <laughs> All right, so what's biggest then? If there's no action. Run up Jody the says piece. over there. That's a big piece. All right. Um, White's been White side looks yeah, yeah, there's something bigger, Joe T. Yes. Yeah, that's bigger, isn't it? Like, like that's. So, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, my arm here. So this is like this big. But this is like my arm plus two more wrists big. It's the man method. <laughs> the size the just under you can fit a That's right. <laughs> All right, so what does black want to do here? Uh, reduce? Yeah. Reduce or invade? Invade and reduce. He wants to invade, but maybe reduction is better. Yeah. Safer. Yeah, this is, this is a case where white is too strong. We can't actually invade very deep if we invade at all. Yeah, white looks really good. So we have to do something. Show me some points. What do you think? Where do we go? So we got to vote for here. Maya says here. Too close to the white stones. Too Except close to the white stones? Or I mean, maybe one back. One back? So I mean, more defensive? Oh, this way, this way. This way. So this way. Yeah. Okay. The Sunderstone? The Sunderstone? Like Tengen? No, 
What? Here-ish. Like here? Yeah, maybe one. That's an invasion. It seems very deep. Maybe. That, that feels a little maybe deep. Maybe so deep. It feels there's, a little deep. There's some roots over there okay. in the upper right hand corner. Mm -hmm. One farther. Like, really one strange. further? Yeah. yeah. Deeper. That's there deeper. <laughs> here, let's let's play this one out a little bit. This will be fun. Other direction. Let's play this one out. Let's say White goes here. Yeah. Tim wants to play go with me. Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think I just want to play here, actually. There's nowhere to go. Maybe I should steal you anymore. I don't know, one of these two. I'd have to read out. <coughs> I don't want to give you, I don't want to give, yeah, you get, you get this, you get this. Yeah, but it's not going to be a corn ball. Yeah, so this, this is not a fast yeah. game of Go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm more or less convinced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are peeing your pants, sir. <laughs> All right. So this is the this is why we say that's usually too deep, right? Because that's just a whole mess of trouble. So how deep can we go? How do we know how deep we can go? Yeah, we draw a line. Now, do we draw the line from here to here or here to here? Yes. First two. First two. First two. Well, yeah, because this this is kind of sketchy. That's the this is kind of sketchy. We have a little bit of Aji here. Yeah. So I'm actually going to nominate. We can actually draw a line probably in between them. Like this stone doesn't really completely count as a solid edge of the moyo. I mean, even if black plays here, like we we like we can all just play here as black and see that we're all completely fine, right? Right. And at the same time, this move threatens to cut that white stone off. So if white has to respond, we can see that we at least get that stone for free whenever we want. So we can sort of use that knowledge. We can say, you know what, we're, we don't have to measure from this line. We can measure more, a little bit more aggressively. I'll show you the book move. The book move says here. Conservative. That's conservative. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, you know, you know, I... I, I'm not doubting we could go deeper, but I don't want to either. Yeah. And again, the idea when we're, when we're reducing something like this, we want, we want to get something, not just be chased around the board for the rest of the game, we want to get something. And if we can play this, and if white feels compelled to play this sort of uh, type of thing, you know, if we end up even with something, this is, this is kind of just a very abbreviated variation, uh, look at our potential now. Right? We, we're the ones that white now has to worry about. So, I don't know, this feels fine. Of course, white has this counterattack here that is a little severe. But at the same time, we're completely fine. I mean, just going deeper. So, it's really hard to, uh, to respond to this move if you're white. This initial move. Because do you counterattack it this way? No, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look very good. Seems like we just get out, and then if we get out, right, the stone is now separated. So, yeah, uh, I, li I mean, I like this move. I think this is a a pretty decent move. Notice that uh, black didn't want to try this side. Why didn't black try this side? Weakness is on the other side. Yeah, we're, again, we're looking for the things we can take advantage of. Well, there's a, you can take advantage of that cut down there, maybe two, potentially. Which cut? On the upper right. This right. cut? Yeah. No. No? Not really. That's, this is so hard to take advantage of, though. Well, like, white does not have to respond to this kind of take advantage of it. Yeah, because like, white lives on both sides. Yeah, it's, well, you, black's not alive at all. Yeah. Right, I, I mean, it's very it's very difficult to take advantage of that kind of Well, I thought in the extreme case, black runs across the board. And but but if black runs across the board, we're not getting anything either. We're just giving yeah. white whatever white, white wants. Yeah, I'd just love to do that for white. Yeah. So, again, we want to find an avenue, a 
something we can we can actually poke at. And, and especially, you know, if white if white does uh, let's see where it's move has to move. If white does, you know, force this this way, we might have moves like this later too. You know, maybe. Oh, thank you. You know, maybe white goes just super severe. Right. I mean, I guess I don't know. Like this gets us out. I don't know how the, how white actually does it really severely. Uh, see, let's say we even just jump here. I guess most severe. All overplays. <laughs> could be, could be a problem, but this, I don't know. This, <laughs> this looks like what I. Had. I don't know. This is. I'm just playing kind of like stupid moves, and again, my attempt to be severe. Oh, black takes this Atari first, actually, and then cuts, right? Uh, so, so it seems like, again, the, the point here was that that... There is no point. I'm just putting moves on the board. Don't cut through. There is no point. I don't know. This is just this is terrible go. Don't ever, don't <laughs> ever do this. I don't know. Black eats something, okay? <laughs> and, then, and then black will get to play that. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, anyway, <laughs> what did we learn? <laughs> sometimes, I mean, I assume that we're too strong on the sides, but sometimes black will try to do something like invading under here. <coughs> yes. <laughs> but I, Very difficult to live, though, because, all right, so let's look at that type of thing. Yeah. So yeah. is this still in here? Yeah. Or, yeah. 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 I mean, it's oh, white stone. Okay. Okay. We got one more white stone here. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we're looking at this. So my first question is, what happens when white does plays here? Do you try this? Yes. Okay, now what do you do? Mm, make a base. Oh, how do you make a base? Well, try to go, go this way. How far? Yes. Uh, <laughs> two. Night's <laughs> move? Two? This way? Yeah. yeah. So, I have concerns. Run? Run? That doesn't really run. That gets cut. Um, push? What? <laughs> Die. Yeah. Die. Exactly. It's, it's not over yet. But it's really, but I, I mean, you don't really ever have to give black a base here. Oh, I guess black can make this exchange. Maybe even that. I don't know. It's, but I, I think, you know, more than looking at a million fantasy land variations here. Yeah, it does seem like that should be a plan, right? Yeah, you, you have stones so far up that if black tries running up at all, you just guide them into them. You just don't let black make eyes, and you guide them into your stones, whatever you do. And that's it. Then you kill. And you have a good game. And you win all the games. <laughs> that is good. Okay, so I hope the theme of invasions came through in these problems. Hopefully you got at least one and felt good about yourself, and hopefully also missed at least one, so you felt like you had something more to learn. <laughs> I hope both of those things are true. Okay, we'll see you guys next week. Are you guys, I guess there's some time for games. Got half an hour. Cool. All right. Well, thanks all. Thank you.